My name is Rowan. I am from Michigan, and I'm nine years old. My mom kind of just kind of got me into it, so I was like, I guess I'll try it. Then I read a Bible verse and memorized it. Came to the prayer room basically every day, so I basically lived here. I tried to fast cartoons, like, not like The Chosen or like Jesus shows, but like cartoons or like Sonic the Hedgehog and stuff. And I tried to fast candy, but that was a little hard one, especially the gummy worms. I got to sneak some because I went to a Royals game, so it was kind of hard not to get like a frozen lemonade and some pizza. I got into highlighting my Bible because I like to keep it nice because one time I used a pen for highlighting and that just didn't work, so I thought it would do that every time, but then I found a highlighter and tried it and it worked. So I got into highlighting and I memorized some verses. For Zion's sake, I will not keep quiet. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be silent until her so revelate until her righteousness is a brightness and her salvation a burning torch. And I set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. Yeah, those ones. It was kind of weird because I go to the prayer room all the time and they, one time it was New Zealand, one time it was Ireland, one time it was, so it was weird every time I came, it was Israel, Israel, churches in Israel, people in Israel. My best friend is from Israel and so I know a couple people from Israel. Since I have no brothers and all sisters, I used to like be like really grumpy that I couldn't play with boys my age. I just don't really feel that way anymore. And Jesus was like talking to me during the fast, so now I still don't feel lonely. Plus he's a boy, so I'm lucky. He was just saying, pray for Israel. Pray for the Arabs. They don't be mean to Israel, you know, like pray for your friends from Israel. Hi, Taiwan. Kenley, seven. I'm the second oldest. I'm the oldest girl. Because I felt like it was fun and I knew it was important. Um, because Jerusalem is getting bombed and we're trying to pray that they don't and that God would save them. TV, um, sweets, but I, I ate a few sweets because I wanted to. I was just going to the prayer room like every day with my mama. I think a ton, ton more about Jerusalem. My dad got a Jerusalem, a watchman on the walls sticker on his water bottle that someone gave him. I just prayed more that Jerusalem would be a praise in the earth. And I had ton prayed up on the mic that's on stage. I had um, Isaiah 62, 6. I memorized that. Um, I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They will never rest day or night. Those who call on the Lord give yourselves no rest. Hi, Taiwan. You're cute. Hi, I'm Melody and I'm a mom. I'm a mom of five kids. My husband is a worship leader and I'm an intercessor. My initial thought was, Lord, you're gonna have to connect my heart to what this, what's happening because I don't fully get it with my head, and but I want to. So I was asking him to just open up my heart to understand and to connect with what was happening and he's so faithful he totally did yeah i actually was asking the lord specifically for dreams and downloads about specifically because being a mom is my full-time calling right now so for my kids and i remember pretty consistently i got dreams and i just was faithful to write them down right in the morning and he was speaking to me about my kids' hearts and how to steward their hearts about different relationships in my life that I, were, I was trying to figure out um, what to do <laughs> with. There was actually a prophetic word that right before the fast, there was a group of moms that met. Somebody had a prophetic word that they're, they were trying to get housewife in the prayer room. And we took it like the Lord wants to bring the wives, they want to bring the mothers for, he has a plan for mothers to help birth something in this prayer movement. And I feel like as a mom, you have that heart for your children 
And one of the prayers that we were praying was Jesus wanting to gather all Israel under his wings like a mother hen. And he said, oh, Israel, oh, Jerusalem. So there was an aspect of, of really partnering with the Lord's emotions and partnering with what the Lord wanted to birth in the earth in this moment in time in this kairos moment if you will actually a lot of moms partnered i i would see my friends we all have our kids and it's crazy but we just like we packed the snacks and we packed our bags and we got here the women in general really helped birth something and and are continuing to even birthing something in my own heart like lord i don't understand but i want to to just feel what he's feeling about his people israel so i was kind of blown away there were things that they did during this fast like you know praying on the mic or wanting to come to the prayer room when i just wanted to sneak and go by myself or have my own alone time and they'd be jumping in my car with backpacking the snack and I'm like, get in the house, don't come with me. But I felt, before I said that, I felt like the Lord was saying, don't hinder the little children from coming to me. You just let them come. So I was like, anytime they wanna come, they're coming. If they're jumping in my car, I'm not gonna stop them. It was really precious and there was times where I like, in the natural, I felt like embarrassed, like, oh my gosh, my kids are just jumping up on the microphone or oh my gosh, they're just, they're just singing like really loud. But I felt like the Lord's like, don't say anything to them about any of that. Like, they're precious and they're ministering to my heart. And I love it. And so I just had to like, just surrender it to the Lord. And I was blown away by some of the stuff they, out of their own, you know, the prayers that they prayed or, you know, the Holy Spirit really speaking to them as an individual. Hello, Taiwan. We love you. Thank you so much for partnering with us in prayer.